Hello, folks. So it's supposed to be clear all night tonight. That means I've got both rigs out, and I'm hoping to capture at least 16 hours of data between them. And I was going to try a different opening today. I was going to be in the backyard while both my mounts went to their targets. So I set the start time for each rig at 8.35 p.m. I did that in Sequence Generator Pro, and neither of them started at 8.35 p.m. They didn't do anything. So I'm not sure why that feature doesn't work. I never tried it before. I always use the end time to stop at a specific time uh, early in the morning. So I, I just thought the start time would work the same way. But I don't know, maybe one of you guys can help me with that. I'll show you where I set that later. But tonight's uh, target uh, that I'm focusing on is SSH or SH2119. And it's surprisingly another faint target. And I say surprisingly because it's the next door neighbor to the North American Nebula, which is really bright. So I kind of assumed this one would be bright too, but it's not. Even HA was faint, so this is definitely going to be um, a 20 plus hour project. And even though the moon is gone, I, I should be doing broadband, not narrowband. Um, uh, but it may be capturing the Triangulum Galaxy or something like that, but I'm in the middle of three projects that are going to be 20 plus hours. I, I can't take any breaks because I never know um, when I'm going to have clouds for the next two weeks. I need to maximize all the time I can get right now. So um, uh, we'll, we'll see how this, this one works out. I'm afraid to process it because I'm not seeing any data for sulfur or oxygen right now. So anyway, let's take a look. So here's both of my rigs, and I just did a meridian flip on the EQ6R mount. So this one's pointing that way, my other rig's pointing that way. But let's take a look at my capturing now. Okay, so this is one um, sub for oxygen, frame 85, and I don't see anything of the nebula. So my plan, <laughs> I, I've already captured 10 hours of HA, I captured eight hours of sulfur, and I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna stop at around eight hours for oxygen. That will give me 26 hours in all. <laughs> I'm not going any more <laughs> for this target. It's not even that interesting anyway. <laughs> at least I didn't think it was. I don't know why I even started it. Maybe I can do something with it, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, uh, anyway, uh, oh, let me show you. This is what I was trying. Um, uh, by the way, uh, for oxygen, like I, I always mention, I always do uh, gain 75 um, off the 15. I always cut my gain in half for oxygen because it, um, it, it, it has less light pollution protection and cutting the gain in half and keeping the exposure time at four minutes, the same as HA and sulfur. My mean readout comes very close to the same when I do that. But let me, let me click on this. You see now, I've used the start, the end, and if I want to end it at around uh, 6.20 a.m. in the morning, that always works. But today, I tried to start it at 8.35 p.m. That didn't work. I tried to start it at 8.42 p.m. I don't know why. It End time always works for me. So if anybody has um, an idea on how to get that start time to work, maybe there's another thing I have to set for that. I, I don't know why. And both my rigs, it failed on both of them, so... I just thought that was interesting. And oh, well, let, let's take a look at my, my guiding, by the way. Yeesh! Oh, I did a dither in there. Let's clear it out. But I, I do see some spikes going on. I saw them earlier. My EQ6R mount has usually uh, been pretty reliable lately. But today, I, I've noticed all day, all night so far, the guiding has not been great. I've seen this thing down in the 0.5 range for many nights. But right now we're at 0 0.87. Mm -mm -mm. 0.91. Let's uh, see the stars. You know, when you have wide field, the stars are smaller. People don't notice if they're elongated. Probably not that big of a deal. Let's go to 100% here. Yeah. They were rounder and some other subs, but eh, good enough. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll get by. 
Um, anyway, that, that's all I've got, folks. We'll see how this comes out. Oh, another one just came through. Let's take a look. This, this one looks a little bit better. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thank you.